Howdy folks, here we are again in Pooch's Kitchen. Now, as many of y'all know, down here in Texas, we got some cooler weather coming. What's Pooch like to do when it gets cool? He likes to eat comfort food. And man, I cannot wait for the cooler weather, and I cannot wait for some good old comfort food. So what Pooch is gonna whip up tonight is beef stew. Man, I love beef stew and cornbread, so that's what Pooch is about to get after. He's going to whip up a big old pot of stew, and he's going to whip up a pan of cornbread. That's some good eating right there. Yes, sir. Even Pretty likes the stew. She ain't good too much on cornbread, but she likes stew. So anyway, let's get after it. Let's get this pot of stew going and get that pan of cornbread going just in time. To watch some Rangers baseball. Yes, sir. First things first, of course, Pooch has got to brown up that stew meat. He's going to throw it in this here big pot. And of course, he's going to season it up and get it ready to brown, mix up, save all that juice. And then he's going to throw in the vegetables here in a bit. But uh, take a look at this. Yes. Some good stew meat. Let Pooch get to whipping it up, seasoning it up, and we'll get on to the next step. Of course, he'll bring you in there and let you watch what's going on. Yes, sir. Well, now that I got that meat in that there pot, I'm going to pepper the crap out of this stuff. Now, this, I'll probably have to put you on pause because... Pooch likes a lot of pepper, and it takes him a while to get it all in there. But, um, yeah, continuous twist, continuous crush pepper. Mmm, mmm, but boy, does it bring the flavor out. Yes, sir. Now that Pooch has got her all peppered up, now he's got to sprinkle on the good old sea salt. He's got to run that through the crusher as well, so let's get to adding some of that. Now, I don't like too much salt, but you know, you got to have a little in there. Now, before I even get the fire lit up underneath it and start browning this stuff, Pooch has got to add some of his secret weapon, what I like to put on roast dang near anything most beef and I'm gonna show you folks this stuff and if you haven't tried it you need to but check this out Dale's seasoning man this stuff is good it is really good and they do have it at a lower uh, MSG rating but man if you folks ain't tried this stuff you better get a bottle and try it. It is good stuff. But let's get some of that in there. Like I said, I use it on roast, all kinds of stuff. I'm just going to pour it in there and get it mixed up. And it won't take a lot of this because it's pretty potent. But I got two pounds of stew meat in here, so I want it to get flavored up really well in there before I get to browning. I'm just going to mix that salt and pepper and that Dale seasoning up real good in there. Let it kind of set and, as they say, stoop or steep a little bit in that there Dale seasoning and salt and pepper mixture. Man, we're just going to let it set for a few minutes before we get the heat to it. Let it get all soaked up into that stew meat. So while it sets there for a minute, let it rest. I'll get back to you folks here in a few with the next step. Yes, sir. Now there ain't nothing hard to this stew recipe. It's pretty simple actually. And there's something else that ain't too hard. For all you folks that want to watch more cooking videos, pooch in the kitchen. Y'all go on and hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave Pooch a comment telling him, tell him what you think. Because I'll definitely be doing some more here for long. Cold weather means cold weather food. Stew is one of them. And chili's in the making 
on the order as well. Yes, sir. But let's take a look at this real quick. Let's see how she's looking. Now, you don't want to overcook this stuff. You kind of want to get it browned. Um, that way, as it's heating up and boiling, once you had everything else, that's when um, that meat will cook real slow and it'll be real good and tender. But let's get a look at this and see real quick. All right, check that out. See what I mean? It's still a simmering in there, and I basically just browned that meat up real good. Now we'll get ready to add uh, the rest. And look at all that juice down in there still. See, that's the good stuff too, actually. You want to keep as much of that in there in your stew as possible. That's, that's natural flavors right there. Good natural flavors. And of course, I salt and peppered, and I added some of that Dale's seasoning. So yes, sir, this is gonna be good. But let's get on to the next step. Now what goes along with stew? Of course, you gotta have all your vegetables in there. And what Pooch is about to add is petite gold potatoes. You know, I could have gotten russets and chopped them up, but I like big potatoes. So I'm about to dump a bag of these in here. And that's why I said you don't want to cook that meat, brown it till it's fully cooked, because you want that stuff to boil in there a little bit. That'll help soften up these potatoes and cook them right along with it. Um, and then, of course, you got to have your corn in your stew. Now, Pooch is about to add sweet corn in there. Ain't nothing special. Nothing special at all. Where's my scissors? Here we go. I'm going to cut the top off this thing. I'm going to throw a bag of corn in there. Now, I'm prepared. Dumped it in there. I'm prepared to add two bags of each in this stuff because I did put about two and a half pounds of meat in there and I got a big pot so you know I gotta make sure I got enough to eat on for a day or two because that's quick and easy eating right there for sure but here goes the carrots just gonna throw them in there like so and of course we got the green beans Get that bag opened up. Green beans. Getting dumped in there. I don't know. There might be more than enough in it right now. But um, another thing is what I'm going to add. I'm probably going to want to add some water to it. But I'm definitely going to be using some of this here beef broth. Got to add that beef broth in there just to kind of make it still taste beefy. I know there was probably a half inch, three quarters of an inch of that natural beef broth cooked down from that meat I threw in there. But, you know, we're going to need some more. We'll put a little of that in there. I'll probably add some water. That way it'll get a good boiling. I like almost a good soupy type stew. I like the juice mainly. To sop up with that cornbread you know what I mean and we'll be getting on that cornbread here in a minute as well but let's get this here back to boiling I'll probably put half a half a can in there uh, I'm gonna add water next and then we'll get her to boiling and we'll let her stew for a while yes sir ha. well I can't wait to eat this too it's gonna be good Just to get y'all up to date on how that pot of stew is doing, let's get over here and take a look real quick. Look at there. Yes, sir. She's a boiling. I've turned it down to a simmer. We're going to let her ride like that for a bit as Pooch gets ready to make that cornbread. <laughs> yes, sir. Got to get that cornbread ready. Get it in the oven and hopefully all this all this good stuff will come together at the same time because pooch is ready yes sir okay y'all know what i'm doing here i'm greasing 
the pan. Which brings a question that I got to ask you folks. Which is better? I've done both. I'm just looking to see what other folks out there do. But I like cooking in glass or in uh, your tin metal pans. I'm just curious to see what other folks do, but I am using the glass today. I'm greasing her up for that cornbread mix I'm about to pour in there. But that just begs the question. What do you folks like putting in your pan? Do you grease it? Are you greasing glass? Are you greasing tin? Let Pooch know in the comments. Yes, sir. Now what I got going on here is corn kits. Look at that big old beautiful thick looking piece of cornbread. Now I got something funny to say about cornbread. This is not sweet cornbread. This is plain cornbread. But what my papa used to say to my grandma anytime, cause he loved cornbread and buttermilk. He loved cornbread and he liked his cornbread and buttermilk as a dessert. But if she pulled a jack move on him and whipped up some sweet cornbread, he wouldn't eat it. And his comment was always, if I'd have wanted cake, I'd have said make a cake. I wanted cornbread. And that's what Pooch is whipping up right here is some cornbread. Some cornbread using corn kits, which called for two-thirds cup of milk and an egg. I've got two packages mixed up, so I did it times two. And again, I'm about to pour it in that glass, that glass uh, pan right there, which again made me question, what do you folks cook with, glass or metal? I got them both, I like them both, but just curious. Anyway, let's get this whipped up and get it in the oven. Yes, sir. Alrighty, let's pour this here good stuff in there. Just pour it right down in the middle, get her to spread, get her to spread out, which uh, kind of brings another question from old Pooch to you guys. Maybe whoever's watching this could answer. Whoa, kind of got the camera involved there a little bit. But how many of you folks heat whether it be your metal pan or whether it be your glass pan how many folks in there give it a little preheat in the oven before you actually pour your uh, cornbread into it cornbread cake whatever you're making i'm just kind of going by cornbread though but do you folks heat it up heat up the the pan about five minutes before you actually pour in your batter just a question comment below let me know but let's get this sucker in the oven yes sir all righty we got that oven preheated there goes the cornbread in there Cornbread's in the oven. Cornbread's in the oven. 425 for 20 to 23 minutes. Pooch will probably leave it in there 24, 25 minutes. He likes his cornbread a little dry. Yes, sir. All right, folks. Pooch got a little excited after he brought the cornbread out. Of course, he was starving, but I had to go run and hop on a live with my good buddy, Justin, at Back Road Freedom. So that kind of delayed a little bit. I got in a hurry, and then once I got through with that, of course, I'm watching the Ranger game. I was starving Marvin. So I came in here, and I tore in to that pot of stew and that... uh pan of cornbread 
And believe me, it's good, good. Let's take a look at it. Stew, cornbread, as you could tell. But oh man, it is. I can't believe I didn't get y'all in there on that first bite, but Pooch is going to do it right now. See, so look at there. Mm -hmm. Who needs butter on cornbread? Mm -hmm. Folks, that's some good eating right there. But easy enough, anybody can do it. So go buy your stuff and make you a big old pot of stew and cornbread for this cool weather. Let's get in there and watch the Ranger game. Yes, sir.